Hello. What's up, guys? Guess what? It's Tuesday. Guess what else? It's Yakuza 4 day. Woohoo! How's everybody doing? How's everyone doing? Hello, Shamurai. How are you? Hold on. Minimize everything. Minimize. There we go. Um, hey, Marco, Clamp, Regis. Thank you for that host, Regis. Vince. Shimigami Tensei 5 is hard. That is all. So you're having a good time then, huh? <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, you reminded me. Oh, my God, Vince. Thank you. I have a package outside. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. I might have gotten stolen. Huh. Yeah. <sighs> Aha! <laughs> okay. There we go. That would have been pretty disappointing if I had forgotten about it. Oh yeah, good... Good point. <laughs> okay. Ooh, delete the VOD. Delete the VOD. Okay. Shamra, you're making a pizza from scratch. What toppings you're going to put? Hey, Will. How's it going? Good to see you. It's not a game for babies. <laughs> Hi, Justinian. Hey, I have Thanatos. Wait, what happened? Did your first message get sent? You guys like this? Is that considered ASMR? You stream for six hours. Nice. Hey, Z dude. And how's Shimigami Sensei 5 going for you, Z dude? Who else is playing it? It's so weird. You got this big old box, and then there it is. That's it. That's all it is. I'm going to have to dig out the switch. I don't even know where, which box it's in. We still have time, though. You had the day from hell at work. Me too, but that's kind of, it's kind of every day lately. It's pretty bad. You come into the chair. Hey, Stepin, how's it going? <laughs> Hi, Daryl. Pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms, and bell peppers. Ooh. Can, yeah, I'll take one too, Shamurai. I'll take one too. Hey, Alvaro, what's up? Oh, 
fauna? Who or what is fauna? Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl releases on Friday. I don't even know what that is. Is that a new Pokemon or is that like a, an old one re-released? Hey, Azure. Hi, Faceless Photo. You finished the first major section, started the next one. Slight hiatus since it been fucking crazy at work. Or busy. Crazy and busy. Busy and crazy. I hope you're enjoying it. Your first Shimigami Tensei experience. Every everyone you know is playing it. it. Must be really popular. Well, that's good. I mean, that's good to hear. I would love to see Shimigami Tensei get more popular. Oh, it's a remake. Okay. Yeah, I I probably would have um Shimigami Tensei, yeah, definitely normal. Definitely, I would not be uh, trying hard mode on, on a game like that. I know better. I know better. So are you... You are playing on... Okay, yeah, you're playing on hard. Well, hard is hard. Wow. Who would have thought? <laughs> well, good luck. Good luck. But I feel like you can take your experience with playing, you know, games of this series and Persona and stuff and, and use it to your advantage. And I'm sure you'll be able to find some good strategies to get through some very tough opponents. We would hope so. Mm-hmm. This, <laughs> I like that. I like that gusto. Yes. Yes, my Vocaloid glass that I stole from Husbando. Because he made me throw my Naruto one away because the paint was chipping and he said I was going to end up drinking paint. Or plastic or whatever. Whatever they put on the outside. You want to play the first two Shimigami Tenseis? I want to play the first two Personas. I haven't heard much about the first two Shimigami Tenseis, actually. I got to play di Digital Summoner and those ones. I think I'd like to try those ones out. It's funny listening to your screen reader repeat all the degenerate things that go on in the chat. <laughs> I bet. I bet. <laughs> Hello, Psycho. Did I get it? Did I get it wrong? Digital Saga is awesome. I think Rio got both of those for me. I believe on the PS3 or something. Or at least one. Do you know what this is from, Azur? This one of my favorite. You have a bone to pick with reviews. Oh, thank God. I thought you I thought you had a bone to pick with me. I'm like, what did I do to piss Vince off this time? Uh this is um this one is from Ease Origin. Ease Origin. Yeah, this time. Uh Megaton 1 and 2 are on the NES. Oh, Meg... Oh, there's a... Ooh. Megami Tensei... Oh, I didn't even know Meg there was a Megami Tensei before Shin Megami Tensei. Wow. What in the blue hell are they talking about? The music isn't as good as Persona. Well, you know what, Vince? I don't know what they're talking about because that's literally all the guy said in that IGN review. From what I remember, he was like, 
the music's good, but it's not as good as Persona 5. And he left it at that. Like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh i have played azure um east one and two chronicles which is like i think what is it the ds version of one and two or it's like the 3d version is it 3d not nah, maybe it's not 3d <laughs> i'm thinking of i'm thinking the final fantasy 4 but yeah, um, I played those and I played East Origins so far. Gotta play more because the music. Oh my gosh, the music. Hello, Milo. Like there was Metal Gear before there was Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah, I, I never knew. Oh, hi, Momo. How are you? Thank you for such the warm and kind welcome that you gave us last night. I was so, um, it was so much fun seeing those pictures, especially from the wedding. It brought me back to those days that I went to my friend's wedding and she was wearing, you know, that the red and gold dress and it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I hope that you um, had fun with Kenna. I, I didn't know. You know, when I first saw the trailer of Kenna, I thought it was like just kind of some light Kind of like a, you know, not too difficult. Just kind of like a light combat kind of, you know. We're going to have like some some cute little graphics and some light combat and some nice little music, you know. But I didn't know that it was like, it was like super hard because there's another uh, streamer that I met recently. And I guess he like raged super hard at Kenna. And I was like, that's, that's strange, raging at Kenna. And then I kind of saw a little bit of what you were about to fight last night and it looked like it was very difficult, but I, I feel like I need to play it. So I wasn't, I wasn't trying to watch too much, but I had no idea. I thought it was like, yeah. Hi Vic. What, what is everyone talking about now? We're probably all talking about something completely different, honestly. Mm hmm. I want to. I would. I would like to. And today we're gonna play some more Yakuza Four. Get into the Yakuza Four. Hello, Dre. Uh, I like your name, Bunny Tails, but taken the wrong way, it's kind of creepy. Like if you collect bunny tail pelts. Don't look in my closet, okay? Just don't look in my closet. Okay? Hey, Crazy Eye Carl! <laughs> okay. Um, man. I love the... I love this... I love this music so much, but I'm gonna have to turn it off because we're gonna get to the game. So I wanna get to some main story tonight. But we're still finishing up some side stuff. And why do I feel short? And the first thing I want to do is see if there's any karaoke. I am. I am short. I am. It's true. And I can't pretend I'm not around you because... Well, you know, from first-hand experience. When are you coming back to California, by the way? Is it anytime soon? We got to do that again. Feels like it's been forever. 
<laughs> well, we can be short together. We can be short together. Okay. So. Tanimura. Tanimura. Oh, right. Okay. So I remember now. We need to obtain 50,000 yen to continue the story with this uh this guy called the bridge the bridge or something like that and he is um he's running this huge um human trafficking like ring or whatever um i think something like that we need 50,000 yen to um to progress that because we need to get our, a fortune told to find a clue that will help us to find his whereabouts but we don't have that money right now so we're gonna do these other sub stories that are on the map and then we're also going to spend money because i want to check out the karaoke before i forget so let's see if there's um let's see if now remind me where the karaoke parlor is it's um somewhere that's meb we also want to go to the um massage parlor let's see the karaoke is a right here okay i want to see if tani Mura can do karaoke oh, oh, oh we got to do this though a at the adult entertainment shop on East Taihe Boulevard. So we can get money from these radio calls that come in. Um, where's Taihe again? We're on Taihe Boulevard. Do you know about it? No. Did he say east or west or did it just say Taihei? Shit. Wasn't paying attention. Let's ask this guy. I would guess if it's an adult place, it would be this way? You believe it said west? Okay, I mean this way? <laughs> um, there's like nothing. This is like such a small little street. I think I don't think it's here. Leaks and spoilers? I haven't... I haven't heard anything. <laughs> this guy must know. Nope. Is this it? George Kashka. How's it going? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Bunny Brigade. We're happy to have you. Yippee! Welcome to some Yakuza 4. We are, um... We're still in part three. We're hanging out with Tanimura. Doing some side stuff. We're just having a good time in Kamurocho. Trying to get some money, basically. But also spending money on things. Hi, Lone Star. How are you? Okay. Give me the money. Thank you. That will help quite a bit. Okay, now we can go to the karaoke. Oh. 
This is the massage parlor. Maybe we should... I wanted to do this too. Let's go check it out. Okay. Aromatherapy massage. Rapidly press buttons to keep the gauge from going past the top or the bottom. If it does, you lose the game. I... This is really tough. Okay. And expensive. Maybe... Maybe we should come back to this. I think actually we should come back to this after we get the 50,000. Enjoy your lurk, Vince. Enjoy the lurk. But we I do want to do some karaoke. Those prices are normal, not like you would know. <laughs> Hi, DNC. Thank you for the host. Okay, is this... Is this the karaoke place? Where am I? Am I lost? Oh, what is this? Shogi? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Run away! We don't want Shogi. Hi, Huanka. Hi, Krex. 500. See, this is way more affordable for me right now. Okay. Well, I'm not sure this is going to be. I'm not going to do raindrops. I suck at that one. Suck at that one. It's probably not going to be too special. He's not singing or anything, but we're still, you know, he needs some. He needs some R&R. &R. Man, looking at all these things, like, so many letters, like, honestly, it makes me dizzy sometimes. I'm like, just like, oh my gosh, I can't comprehend all this. my bad. Yay! <gasps> it's weird to hear the normal version of this song. What? Okay, we didn't completely fail. That's good. I felt like we did pretty bad though. Okay. We can do one more, so let's go ahead and try. I have scored a, apparently an 810 on... No. Wait. That's probably on... Simple interjections. 
I don't think we've ever passed this one on Lively. Okay, hi, Paisley. It just doesn't feel right without Hanachan singing. See, it starts out deceptively, you know, easy. Then hell starts. Okay, that was awful, but I feel like that was the best that I've done on that on, um, lively interjections. Ah, uh, we didn't break 800. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, I am aware of my, li my limitations, you know, I'm aware of my limitations. No, I'm done. I don't have any money. I'm broke. I need 50,000 yen. Let's do some sub stories. Hi, Fox. Hi, David. Okay. So let's check out one of ours is down this way. Let's go do this one first. Or maybe we should just say, screw it and do the main story. Be a rebel. You went and spent like an hour practicing raindrop solo so you could be good for her. <laughs> yeah, because she is not very pleased if you mess, if you mess it up. Um, yeah. She is not pleased. All right, let's see what's going on here. Panicking man. Nice. Weird hair. I don't even know what you call that. <laughs> what do you? It's not a bun. Where the hell is he? We can't wait any longer, yo. What's holding him up? He won't even answer his freaking phone. <laughs> At this rate, it'd be quicker to just find some random guy on the street and have him go with us. Oh, where's Kiryu? Where's Kiryu? Random guy on the street. I guess Tanimura will have to do. Kiryu's still on vacation. I'm with you, man. He's got to be at least as good looking as us. Hopefully even more so. Let's see. Good looking. Hey, how about that guy? Hmm. No way. That dude looks way too good. Did you forget the whole point of this party? Well, you said good-looking, so... 
You two talking about me? Uh, well, uh, the, the thing is... <laughs> The truth is, we're on our way to a mixer and one of the guys didn't show. So we're looking for someone else to go in his place. A mixer? You mean one of those group date parties? Mixer? I've heard of Mixer the website. Even though that's not really a thing anymore. Um, yeah, my friend here is the one who arranged everything. It was supposed to be three guys and three girls, but now we're short one guy. Hey. Yeah, so that's what's up. You, uh, wouldn't mind joining us, would you? Wait, so what is this? What is a mixer? Do you guys know? I've never really heard of this. Like, DJs, they mix music, right? Pick it, pick it. <laughs> it sounds like three single guys, three single girls, and then like they just kind of hang out and swap people. Do they like swap around? Okay. So they're not going like they don't have pre arranged partners or anything. I see. Mixer is when you mix food. I mean, that sounds like the kind of mixer I would go to. Bunch of food? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's what's up. You uh, wouldn't mind joining us, would you? Me? Yeah. All you gotta do is come chow down and knock back some brews with us for a couple hours. Everything's totally on us. Heck, we'll even slip you some extra cash. What did you say? Nani? Yusuke! That's not Yusuke. Where's my Yusuke? Yusuke, are you sure? I thought you said he was too lo good looking. Dude, who cares? We're out of time here. What other choice do we have? So how about it, man? Down to mix it up with us and a couple of fine young ladies? All right. Sounds fun. Hey, maybe I'll get a... Maybe I'll get a date out of this. I guess there are worse ways to kill time. All right, fine. I'll tag along. For real? Wait, if that's Yusuke on the left, does that mean this guy is Ryuji? <laughs> wow, thanks, man. Hey, you guys got an emote for that. Yeah, there we go. Clamp nose. Or do we not have it anymore? I think it's only a bit emote now. Sorry, I lied. My bad. I'm not really sure what my emotes are right now. <laughs> what are my emotes even right now? Well, we're running out of time, so let me explain real quick. I'm Yusuke, and I arranged this get-together. This here's Naoya. No, that's Ryuji. And the guy who flaked out on us like a total bitch is Ryota. Oh, mind if we ask your name? Sure. Masayoshi Tanimura. Masayoshi Tanimura-san. All right, then. The only thing is we already told the girls our names, and it'd be kind of awkward to try and change one of them now. Yeah. Huh. So would you be cool with us calling you Ryota at the party? It might get a little confusing, but I guess I can handle that. Yusuke, aren't you gonna tell him? About what? <laughs> About not hooking up with Akino-chan, of course. Whoa, hey, dude. That's not even what I... Look, forget about Akino-chan. We're just here to have fun, all right? Bullshit we are. What are you going to do if this guy and Akino-chan hit it off? It could happen, you know. Yeah, you're right. Man, just picturing it in my head makes me feel depressed. Is there a particular girl you're after? Yeah, that's actually the whole point of this little mixer today. Oh, okay. I get it now. Do you think you could help Yusuke get closer to Akino-chan? This son of a bitch is super desperate, so I'm sure he'll return the favor somehow if everything works out. Come on, Yusuke. Don't make me do all the talking. Please, help a brother out. <laughs> How can I say no to that? All right, so tell me about this girl, Akino. She's the organizer on the girl's side. She's really outspoken, but she has her quirks, too. 
She says she hates strong smelling food, but she really likes garlicky gyoza. And she likes sweet cocktails, but gets tipsy pretty quick. But if you try to be nice and get her to a soft drink, she'll pretty much chew your head off. Okay, what about the other two? Well, their names are Haruko-chan and Konatsu-chan, but this is the first time we're meeting them, so who knows? If you're into either one of them, feel free to have at it. What, you're not interested? Me? Nah, I already have a girl I like. I'll be happy as long as things go well for my boy Yusuke. Hey, thanks, man. Okay, it's almost time. We need to act like we're all buddy-buddy now. One team, one dream. Feel me? We'll be counting on you, Ryota. Sure. Hey, is that one of them? Before we take a peek at that, I see Video Game Expert is in here. Hi, Video Game Expert. Did I see uh, Ryuji's costume in P5? Oh, Persona 5 Dancing? No, I've never seen any of those games where he could dress up as Gota. Uh-uh. Joker had a Kiryu costume? What? I have to see this. Now I want to see this. Interesting. There she is. Hey, guys. Oh, Akino. Uh, it's been a while. It sure has. Well, it looks like you're all here. Thanks for setting things up on the guy's side. Sure thing. Are your other friends on their way? Hmm? Oh, Haruko and Kanatsu are already waiting at the restaurant. I just took the liberty to pick you guys up. You're always so on top of things, Akino-chan. You know me. Well, shall we? Now the question is, is do we want to steal this girl from him? Or do we want to... I mean, like... Oh man, it's cramped in here. I'm stuck in the middle. Chi, kanpai! Okay, so let's all introduce ourselves. Who wants to go first? Well, seeing as I'm the one who organized this whole thing, I might as well start things off. My name's Yusuke, and I work in sales at a printing company. Akino and I were in the same club together at college. Every now and then we'll get together for some drinks, and... I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh... Okay, okay, Yusuke, thank you for that lovely introduction! My turn now. I'm Naoya, and I've known Yusuke since we were little. I just can't seem to get rid of the guy. At the moment, I'm sort of what you would call underemployed. But don't worry, I promise I'm not some kind of freeloading slacker. Alright, you're up, brother. Oh, uh, right. I'm... Ah. Uh, do I want money or not? I do... I mean, I don't really want money, per se, but I need money. <laughs> But I kind of really want to see what would happen if we just do it wrong. <laughs> Hold on, let me click on this image really quick. Oh my god. Oh my god, and on is Majima and... Oh my... and um... Yeah! Is Haru... Haruka? <laughs> and Yusuke is... Is he... Um... What's his name? Um... Nishi... Nishiki? Nishikiyama? <laughs> and then Makoto is, um... Saijima? Why a Majima cosplay for An for on? Oh, Akiyama. Ah. Right. Yeah. I see it now. What about Futaba? Who's she? Who's she supposed to be? She's the florist? And what about Morgana? Is Morgana anyone?
Huh. That is really cool. Morgana isn't anyone? Okay, that's I was thinking Morgana might not be anyone. Okay, that's that's really cool. Okay, we will play it by the book then. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you got are you guys saying Ryuji is Ryuji? Ryuji Goda? Was that his name? Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so we are Ryota. I'm Ryota. I went to high school with these characters. Yeah, what he said. We sort of bumped into each other the other day, and he told me he was single. Guess my boy's ready to hang and ready to bang. Or make a bang, that is. Whoa, I never would have guessed you were single. Waste of hotness, if you ask me. Uh, sure. Yeah, totally. A guy's as hot as a brick oven. It makes me wonder why he hasn't had a girlfriend in years. You know what I mean, Naoya? I do. Maybe it's because he's got secrets to hide. Deep down issues. Literal skeletons in the closet. Come on, Lyota. Don't look at me like that. Relax. I'm just yanking your chain, man. It's how close friends who clearly go way back joke around. Hint. Hint. <laughs> Keep it up, Tanimura-san. You're doing great. All right. That wraps up the boys. Girls, you're up. Hey, who put you in charge? Now, now, no bickering, boys. I'll start things off. I arranged this little mixer on the girl's side, and my name is Akino. I work at a restaurant inside the Millennium Tower. Nice to meet you guys. They have restaurants inside the Millennium Tower? I guess that makes sense, but... We don't really know exactly what... I just thought it was all, like, business offices and stuff. Nice to meet you, Akino. I'm Haruko. I usually work late nights as a nurse, so I'm looking forward to having some fun today. Wow, a nurse. That sounds like a pretty tough job. Your turn, Konatsu. Uh -huh. Oh, right. Uh, okay. So, I'm Konatsu. Akino-chan invited me out tonight. Um, uh, glad to be here. <sighs> what do you do for work, Konatsu-chan? Oh, um, I work part-time at a bookstore. Yeah. Oh, snap, you're a part-timer? That's pretty much what I am. Yeah, part-time worker and a full-time flake. Sorry about this guy, Konachi-chan. He kind of gets carried away sometimes. Oh, that's no problem. Well, all right. Now that we got that taken care of, let's get some food. Who's hungry? Anything you'd recommend, Ryota-kun? Oh. Um. I think we should leave it up to Yusuke, right? Because... She likes the garlicky gyoza. I know that. You know, I'm so indecisive at times like these. Yusuke, why don't you pick something for us? Right. How about something filling and mouth-watering? Oh, I know. We should get some pan-fried gyoza. Oh, great choice, Yusuke. Aside from the garlicky smell, I could eat those all day. Thanks for the assist, Tanimura-san. Yeah. High five under the table. Okay. We're not doing weird shit down here. Just high five. So the other day, Yusuke was at work, and this girl totally asks him out. Shut up, Naoya. Na Naoya? We don't have to talk about that here. <laughs> Why not? I want to hear more. Yeah, you can't just end a story before it gets to the juicy stuff. Apparently, this girl was real old school about it. She left a love letter in his desk. Ah, oh, that is pretty old-fashioned. Nobody does that kind of thing anymore. Except maybe Konatsu. Hey, Haruko-chan. Come on. There's nothing wrong with that. 
Last time I checked, a girl's allowed to confess her love shyly, right? Anyway, what'd you do after you got the letter, Yusuke-kun? Well, here's the part where Yusuke highlights just how much of a gentleman he really is. He decided to handwrite her a letter back, and boy, did he keep messing up. He even made me go buy more paper for him, and he works at a printing company, people. There should be loads of it here. There. There. Amazing. So what did he write back? Let me guess. It was a rejection letter, right? Okay, so this is where it gets good. I thought he just put something simple like, Nope, not interested. But he went and said, I'm sorry, but I'm currently into someone else. Wow, he went through all that trouble. <laughs> Enough about this. Let's change the subject. New topic, please. Um, you know... Hmm? I think that was a wonderful thing to do, Yusuke-san. Clearing things up for her like that. I'm sure she understands your feelings. You're quite sincere. Oh, thanks. I honestly didn't think much of it at the time, but I appreciate the compliment all the same. <laughs> I meant it. Ooh, Konatsu. Are you into Yusuke-kun? No. Well, I mean, I'm not saying I don't like him. Uh, 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 Damn it, Haruko. Come on, Haruko. Don't put her on the spot like that. Go easy on the girl. You know what, Kunatsu-chan? You're adorable, isn't she, Ryota? Um... Akino is cute, too. Haruko has a great personality. Uh... I think as long as I don't pick Akino as cute, too, I'll be fine. Uh, very. Yep. Yeah, a lot of girls nowadays are so masculine. Not that that's a problem, but I don't know. Konatsu-chan just seems like the type of girl that makes me want to protect her. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying, Tanimura? <laughs> what is he saying? I am sorry. I don't want to make you do that. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, just say thanks in that cute little voice of yours, since you're so feminine and all, unlike me, apparently. Okay, totally, you, like, gave Haruko the more feminine voice, and now they're saying it's the other way around, but whatever. I mean, it's not all about the quality of the voice, right? Haruko, what's that supposed to mean? Did Yota-kun's comment rub you the wrong way? Heck no, I'm not that sensitive, you know. Haruko-chan, I actually find you quite feminine and attractive. Thought you'd like to know. Actually, Yusuke was just saying how cute Akino-san looks today, too. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, right, Yota-kun. I know Yusuke doesn't see me like that. Nice try, though. To be honest... That's not exactly true. Huh? I mean, Ryota's totally right. Lately, I really have noticed how pretty you are, and... Yeah. What? No way! I never would have expected to hear something like that from you, Yusuke. But thanks! Mmm, this is delicious! Oh, by the way, I guess I should have asked this earlier. But you guys are still single, right? Yeah, I only invited single guys to this get-together. <laughs> and I and bet it wasn't easy, considering most of his friends are starting to settle down. Hey, you're single too, you know. True enough, but there's already a girl I have my eyes on. Not that I stand a chance. What? <gasps> oh, stop being so negative. Today is your chance to forget about all that. That's right! And look, our glasses are almost empty. Let's order another round. Shouldn't you be taking it easy on the drinks, Akino? What's your problem, Yusuke? Are you trying to say I drink too much? No, that's not what I meant. Throw Yusuke a lifeline or watch what happens. I want to... I want this to fall apart so badly!
Don't worry, Yusuke. We're all having fun here. How about you go and order some more drinks for us? Oh, for sure. Okay, then. What'll it be? Recommend... Oolong tea? Maybe we've had enough alcohol. How about we switch over to something else? Like oolong tea? Oh, all right. That seems like a pretty safe bet. Akino, how about we order oolong tea next? What? Are you trying to... Uh oh, did we fuck up? I mean... She likes the cocktails. Right? But... I thought we weren't supposed to... Let her get drunk. I don't know. Maybe we are supposed to. Hey, avocados. Are you trying to be my dad or something? I'm not done drinking yet. Looks like that was a bad call. Uh oh, fuck. Did we? Did I just screw it up at the end? Phew, I haven't drank this much in forever. Yeah, that was fun. I think I might have overdone it. Just a bit. Hey, Akino, are you alright? Dang, she looks pretty sloshed. What should we do? Uh... Uh... You take care of her, Yusuke. Yusuke, you know where she lives, right? How about you make sure she gets home? Me? Really? That would be super. I'll see Konatsu home. Thanks, Yusuke-kun. Well, everybody today was fun. Thanks for coming out. Come on, Akino. Let's go. Oh, huh? Yusuke, where are we going? I'm taking her drunk self home, of course. What? But the night's still young. Let's go somewhere fun. Uh, well, I guess we could do that. You guys go. Yota and I are going to call it a day here. Yeah, you two have fun. Uh, right. Thanks, guys. I owe you one. Okay, so even with the oolong tea, she still got drunk. Did we win? I don't know. Well, I'd say that went over pretty damn good. Bet it did. Honestly, I didn't think it'd go this well. It was really thanks to you, Ryo. I mean, Tanimura-san. I guess we'll see. This is just the beginning for those two. <laughs> you got that right. It's all up to our boy, Yusuke, now. It's not much, but this is to thank you for everything you did. I got 50,000 yen! Do you know what that means? Massage parlor! <laughs> Woo! Are you sure? I don't know if I feel right accepting money for this. Don't, just take it, take it, take it, take it. Aw, oh, don't take it like that. Besides, I'll make sure I get it all back from Yusuke later. I know he appreciates your help. You really got his back, don't you? Well, like I said, he's like a bad habit I just can't break. So what's a friend supposed to do? Alrighty, I'm heading home. Cool. Be safe out there. Thanks again, man. Right, I'm just gonna go to the massage parlor. Bye. Let's go. Long Island tea. Okay, massage parlor. It's going to be up this way. Stand up for part reporting the building behind Kotobuki Drugs. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, yeah, let's just do it. We might as well. Might as well. Because we don't know how many times we're going to fail at the... Uh... 
We don't know how many times we're going to fail the massage parlor. So we might need some extra cash. And hey, Vincy. Vincy, what's up? Oh, he's got a gun. They better pay me double time for this. Oh my god. I forgot he had a gun. Yes. Got him. Got him. You're chilling. You just got home from work. Well, welcome home. Welcome home. Hope work was, uh, went swell for you not nothing too crazy nothing too exhausting hi lizzie how's it going what you been up to you're just in time we're gonna go get a massage we might we might see an appearance from the crying baby if you guys know what i mean you guys know what i mean but i'm gonna try try not to let it happen thank you so much oh thank you video game expert for the hundred bits i'm gonna need that thank you for this massage course okay we'll start with the standard one for five thousand yen okay ah show your card to our staff when you arrive you will receive one stamp per massage so uh, Every fifth visit, oh, you get a VIP and then a super VIP on the 10th visit. That's a lot of... You can unlock special massage. Oh, so there's like a whole mini game in this, too. Oh, my. Oh, my. That is going... That's an expensive thing to do, though. We don't have the money to do all that right now. Uh, that's not the same girl from before, right? Okay. A to increase. Oh, no. B to increase. A to decrease. Finisher A and finisher B. Okay, we're getting a massage, guys. What 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 the hell? Why are there hearts coming out of her butt? Get back up there. My little halo. Why is this thing fighting me so much? Oh shit, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Oh my god. How long is this? Yeah. That's a pretty good satisfaction, I think. I don't really know. Felt really nice. So serene. Okay, I didn't screw it up. I did not screw it up. Let's try a... um. This is the deluxe one or whatever. Deluxe massage course. A more lavish massage op option. You'll feel all your worries bursting out of you. Whatever that means. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Final Fantasy Remake 7 Remake all over again? Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, Silencioso, what's up? Okay. Oh, she got her toes out, guys. Toes out. Watch out. She's wearing too many clothes. What did I pay the extra three grand for? Toes? Such serene music. Is she massaging me with her heel? What is she doing now? Ah! <laughs> okay, can you not look at me like that? What's she doing now? Checking herself out in the mirror? What is she doing? What is she doing? What is that? What is that? What is that? Ah! No, 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 no. Cover your eyes, everyone. Cover your eyes. What the fuck is that? What is that? I don't want any drugs. I didn't sign up for this shit. Maybe I did, but... was weird okay okay well do we want to keep going until we get to the fifth one i kind of want to stamp to the Fifth one. I'm... I, I... I... I don't know if we have... I think we need to do just one more, right? And then the fifth one will be a special one. Well, one more after this one. You don't want to say anything about what? Oh, an enema? Okay. We're just doing the basic one because it's cheaper. It's, it's like some Enya fucking shit right here, this music. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Okay, well now, now it's not. Oh, a wrong button! Oh, that was so close. We almost we almost came early, guys. <laughs> that is what we call edging, okay? <laughs> oh no, I can't. I need to stop. I need to be arrested. <laughs> Okay, we got this. No! No, the baby! <laughs> oh, we got the baby. I messed it up. Oh, I messed it up. But it still counts as, as a stamp, right? He couldn't hold it in this time. He couldn't hold it in. Okay. Let's... One more. Okay, yeah, we, we we got to keep our stamp, so. Floppy dragon. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Okay, we're not going to let her win this time. No, sir. Okay. <laughs> 
Disappointed dragon. Well, this is I'm just we're just speed running it at this point, you know? Oh, that was the rank I got, the floppy dragon. I'd even notice. Oh my goodness. Okay, so okay. That we're just speed running now, you know? We want wait, so what do we pick? Does it matter? I didn't... I gotta get the fifth stamp first. Oh, man. We still have enough money. We still have enough money. We only need 50,000. Well, I thought it was four stamps and then you get... You'll now have the choice of experiencing the VIP massage course on top of the other options. Oh, and I bet it costs more, too. Hey, Lemon. How are you? Did you come to get a massage as well? Fancy seeing you here. Why can't we have a normal massage parlor? Because it's Yakuza. That's why. <laughs> Look, nothing can be as awkward as the, um, what was it called? I think it was Kiwami 1, the photo booth thing. Now that shit was wild. I was very uncomfortable with that. Okay. Now we can do the VIP. I did it a bunch anyway. I didn't do it that much though. I just wanted to get the bunny outfit. That's all. I just wanted the bunny outfit. Okay, how much money do we have? 59,000. Okay, well, we're gonna... We'll, we'll be okay. Okay, let's see. Let's check out the VIP oil massage. Hi, Zio. Oh, you're just in time. You're just in time. Oil massages are amazing. I've never had a professional massage before, but I expect it goes a little bit something like this, you know? They put their high heel shoes on and, um, yeah, they're just kind of digging that in, the, in your back and shit. Oh, she's like an Egyptian goddess. Oh, no, it's just a swimsuit. Oh boy. Is she gonna be naked in the in the special VIP one? What is happening? What's go <gasps> Yo! No! That wasn't fair! My money! We're gonna have to try that again later. It that thing shot up like crazy! I am so sorry, Zio. Oh my god, that's all. That's all you got to see. I'm I'm out of money now. We can't do anymore. We'll have to come back to it. Uh <laughs> Hi Chi, what's up? Okay, we're gonna do another sub story. We need a good way to make some money. Oh, another one opened up. There's one more that was than was there before. Altercation. It's probably this one right here. 
This guy right here. These dine and dashers, man. They're crazy in Kamurocho. Man. I guess I'll have to uh, just be very careful on that VIP one. So glad you still have headphones now. <laughs> okay, we got we got enough money to do another VIP massage. We're not going to do that right now, though. We're going to see what this sub story is. guy no these guys what are you taking a picture of give me that camera now we're gonna have a little chat right over there Goldman Asai. i'm sorry i've never seen real japanese yakuza before yakuza i just got a little excited and perhaps too carried away oh yeah then just follow us. We'll teach you everything you ever wanted to know about Japan. Bye -bye. Oh, I wonder if they're actually just friendly Yakuza. I, that would be amazing. I hope that's what this is. Hey, he said he's sorry. Just let him go. Hey, you mind your own goddamn business. Unless you want in on what we're about to teach this fucker. Oh, okay, maybe not. Taking on a civilian and a tourist at that? Where's your sense of honor? You little shit! What the hell would you know about how we operate? Maybe we ought to educate you first. We always... It's always got to come down to a fight. Like, I thought it would be such a cool twist where he's like, Why don't we show you around town? And he's like, They're actually going to give him a tour of Kamurocho. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? That would be so fun. just just cheering me on oh now you're pointing at me hey it's not nice to point shit let's get a move on boys overly friendly foreigner bruh that just blew my mind was that real aikido just now you were like a samurai out there, taking out those dudes. Rock on, brother man. I understand this is all new to you and all, but why don't you put away that camera? It's not a good idea in this town. Oh, snap. That means you're a local, which by definition means you're familiar with the area. Yes. Well, yeah. Why? BAM! Look at that sick karma payoff right there. It's gotta be fate, you know? Running into my to new tour guide like this. Buddy, your logic is loopy. And who said I'd be your tour guide? I've got stuff to take care of. Oh no! Oh no! Come on! 
I'm sure you have at least some time to guide a helpless foreigner who doesn't know their right from their left in a totally unfamiliar city. That'd be irresponsible. So why not take a chance and point me where I need to be? Am I not overly friendly enough? Besides... Besides what? I'll give you a fat tip. To be blunt, I'm filthy rich. All right. I need money for my massage parlor addiction. All right. I guess I could show you around, but only for a little while, okay? Oh, so you're going for it after all, huh? Nice. I guess I should have brought up the prospect of money a little sooner, huh? Anyway, I'm Smith. Super honored to meet you, man. Likewise, I'm Tanimura. So where is it you want to go? I came all the way to Japan, so I want to see something really Japanese, you know? Japanese, huh? Is there anything specific you're interested in? Yes. There is, but I completely forgot the name of it. Let's see. What was it called? You tell me. Maybe try describing it? That way I can at least get an idea of what you want. Okay, well, it's a place people compete one-on-one -on -one in a traditional and intellectual tabletop game. A game? Yeah. Didn't I pronounce that right? A traditional one versus one tabletop battle of intelligence. I hear it's a game for everybody. Men, women, boys, girls, you name it. Well, it could be one of several things. You're probably talking about... I think it's Shogi. Gambling, video arcade, pachinko. Yeah, it's gotta be Shogi. How about Shoten on Sendio Avenue? What? Huh? What's a Shoten? Somewhere that fits your description perfectly. I'm sure that's the place you mean. Yeah? You are? I don't know, man. Your confidence is pretty unnerving. But fuck it! Let's go check it out anyway! Red! Hi, Jose! How are you doing? Well? Yes! Yes! This is it! This is exactly what I was talking about! What's the name of this game again? It's called Shogi. <laughs> That's right! Shogi! The tension in here is so thick! You could cut it with a knife, man! This is some good shit, my dude! Well, he sounds satisfied. I'm happy for you. So, is it cool if I leave now? Well, if you wouldn't mind kicking it with me for a little longer, there is one more place I want to go, but that's it! Might as well see this through. Fine. Where to? I want to go someplace where only men are allowed. Oh, the massage. I was about to hit up the massage parlor. Uh, I'm not quite sure I get it. You know what I mean? I forgot the exact name. Let's see here. It's a place where it's men only and everybody is naked. They rub shoulders and communicate with each other. Something like that. Oh, does he mean like a hot spring? Drawing a total blank here. Oh, come on! You know what I mean! A men's only place where everybody's naked! Japan is known for this shit! Well, you could be talking about a... Hot spring. Because I don't think we got the VIP where we get the where we get the naked treatment yet. <laughs> then let's go to you know Sono Hot Springs. You know Sono Hot Springs? Yeah, Hot Spring is the place to be if you want to get naked and communicate with other men. Sounds good to me. Then let's get cracking.
<laughs> Weird. Wahoo! A legit Japanese hot spring. Now this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's get naked and jump right in. Tiny Muda, you're coming in too, right? Uh, no. I think I'll sit this one out. Alrighty. Well, I'll be back. Sorry to keep you waiting. Finally. Wait, aren't those guys? Yeah, but they got naked and they communicated with each other. So now they're buddies. Yeah, those Yakuza from before. We ended up bumping into each other in the bath, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? We became total buds. <laughs> Nothing like a hot, steamy mineral bath to wash away your differences, am I right? Now we're like family. <laughs> Not like I actually joined their family, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I want to keep this guy around with us. Let's bring Smith with us, okay? He can stick around. Get a load of this motherfucker. This guy's freaking hilarious. Man, I tell you, we'll all get along better if nobody wore any clothes at all. Yeah, until women get involved. That would go great. Bunch of naked dudes. Naked girl. No, mm -mm. I don't think so. Tani Murasan, you have made this the trip of a lifetime. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Thank you. Another 50 thou. All right, then. Guess I'm going out for drinks with the boys now. <laughs> Hope you're ready to drink till sunrise. Yeah, let's rock on, my brethren. Woo, okay, we got some experience too. That was fun. Ooh, a level up. Good, good, good. Because we were... We wanted to buy a certain ability. And now I don't remember what it was. I think it was here. Oh, the enhanced parry, maybe? Probably enhanced parry is what we wanted. What's this one? Stand still during battle to... Replenish your energy with the spirit of the calm bodhisattva. Replenish your energy. Is that like your... Is that like heat gauge? Replenishes when standing still? That's kind of cool. Hmm. Breezy arrest. Decreases the difficulty of executing the essence of arresting. Oh! We haven't... We haven't been able to do this one yet. Why in your unconscious or writhing enemies? I think we should get this so we can we can see that. Essence of arm barring. So oh, the parry one is probably like uh, I just I just want some cool heat actions is what I want. Oh, I think we still have enough for the uh, enhanced parry actually. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's get knockdown evasion with our last point. And we're good to go. Let's do another sub story right here. Oh. Is this just going to be the same as with Akiyama? It's this guy again. It's the same... Th okay. I don't want to do... I don't care to do that. I don't care to do that. Maybe I should talk to him so it gets... I think maybe I'll talk to him just to get the question mark off my map, though. Minamizawa.
Okay, a bodhisattva is a Buddhist that denies ascending to Nirvana to help others attain enlightenment. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have one more sub story. Yeah, I never knew that before. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't know there were people that that did that, you know? It's cool. What a selfless act. Okay. Concerned car owner. There's been a chain of break-ins around here lately. Imported car owner. What? You can't be serious. Car break-ins, huh? Well, that sucks. I guess if I see one happening, I'll need to arrest whoever is responsible. Okay. Um, well, that looks suspicious. Hey, look at that sweet-ass bag. Bet we can make a fortune off that. People are so careless. If they want us to steal it that bad, then we're happy to oblige. <laughs> we're gonna be eating good tonight. Those must be the guys behind all those recent car break-ins. I'd rather not deal with this crap, but I'll get my head chewed out later if I leave the scene of a crime in progress. If I charge in and they run, it'll be too much of a hassle. I should approach quietly so they don't notice me. Oh, they'll notice you if you don't account- Okay, so we gotta just walk? 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 Excuse me? Huh? It won't open! What do you mean? The other one opened without a hitch. Hey, what are you guys up to? Huh? Oh, oh, we can't get this lock to open. Why won't it budge? Come on. Oh, remote control key, huh? Uh, what? Are we playing along? Are we playing along? Uh, is that the key to... Maybe it needs a new battery. Maybe it needs a new battery. Battery? You might be right. Hey, go to the store and get a new battery. Gotcha. But you have to pay for half, okay? I got it. All right, let's try it again. Come on, come on. It worked. You're a genius, man. You really helped us out, pal. We appreciate it. Great. By the way, what's your name? Tanimura of the Kamurocho police. Oh, cool. You work for the police. That's... Wait a minute. Wouldn't that mean... You're a cop? You bet I am. <laughs> you almost had me for a minute, man. Nice one. Do you want to see my badge? <laughs> no. No, thank you. So... You unlocked the door. Is that all you were planning on doing? Well, uh... What the hell are we supposed to do now? A cop is on to us. Oh, man. This is awful. He's gonna bust us for sure. Okay, let me try something. Hello. Officer! Yeah? It's true. We were trying to steal the wallet from this car. You caught us fair and square. Hey! Truth is, we already stole another wallet earlier today. Oh, yeah? Yesterday, too! And the day before that? We're the thieves everybody's been talking about all over town. I fail to see how this is going to end up to be advantageous to him. Yeah! That's us! There! We were honest. We told you everything. Yes, you sure did. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Your heart isn't moved at all? Huh? What do you mean? I tried to get him to take pity on us, but it didn't work. No, wait. Uh, let me try. Please listen, officer. I've done enough listening. It's time for... You just gotta hear me out. I'm begging you. Uh, okay then. 
We had no choice. No choice, I tell ya. He's right. This was the only thing we could do with our lives. Really now? Uh... What do you mean we had no choice? I don't know, man. It just popped out. What? Enough already. Just follow me to the station. Shit! We're gonna get arrested. I guess there's no avoiding it now. We ain't going nowhere. We don't give up that easily. What? Are you serious? Uh, fuck it. Let's just get him. Rah! <laughs> what is this jazzy music? We got new heat actions. But they die too fast. Whoops. Oh, I forgot. We weren't skipping through this. Please, don't make more work for us. Yeah, but officer, you'd be out of a job without criminals like us. You wouldn't want that to happen, right? Yo, wait a minute. If everybody became a good citizen, just think what a great place Kamadocha would be for everybody. Hey, you got a point. <laughs> yeah, we should start a movement. We won't do anything bad anymore, and that'll set off a chain reaction. Soon, all of Kamadocha will change. Dude, that's a great idea. I'm glad I chose to team up with you. I made the right choice for sure. Thank you. I mean it. Man, let's start right away. We're still going to the station. You know that, right? Right! Sorry. Man, what a royal pain in the... Excuse me. Yes? This car. It's mine. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, this is yours? I apologize. I'm from the KPD. I just caught a couple of men trying to break into your car. They were what? Is my car all right? Oh, it looks unscathed. What a relief. There have been a lot of these break-ins lately. Take care, okay? Oh, thank you, officer. Please, take this. It's not much, but I want to reward you for your effort. I got a red jewel. Thank you again. Okay, well, those are really short sub-stories compared to the, s the other two that we've been working on. Okay, I think it's time to go back to the massage parlor. And I'm not going to mess it up this time. I'm going to stay right in the middle of that bar. We're going to stay right in the middle. Hey, don't write yourself off yet. It's only in your head you feel left out or looked down on. Okay, we have like almost 60k to blow. No more floppy dragons. No more. Are those the guys that one foreigner we took on a tour made friends with? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I miss that I miss that foreigner guy. Okay. Love in heart. VIP oil massage. We need to do three more after this. If we can pass the VIP oil, then we'll go ahead and go back to the cheap one for the next three. If we can pass it. Hello. <clears throat> 
Okay, we're gonna stay in the safe zone. I don't really care about score. What the fu- Oh, I hit the wrong button. I was hitting the wrong button! Fuck! We're just speed- We're speed running it, okay? We're speed running it. <laughs> Thanks, Justinian. Okay. It's fine. We have enough money. Even if we... The the super VIP is probably 20k though, so we need to be careful. Okay, we gotta be careful. Okay, we're we're gonna get it this time. This time we'll push we'll push the right button. We're not gonna let this this girl have her way with us, okay? Okay, Madi. The picture of the crying baby is so unnecessary. I mean, what in this game is necessary, honestly? Can you tell me anything in here that's that's not completely unnecessary? Whoa. Yeah. Sometimes it just jumps up super high. How the fuck? How the actual fuck? I was pushing down. Like, I was spamming it and it just kept going up. Why is it so hard? Wait, your brother's watching too? Shamurai? Man. This game is hard. <laughs> Look. It's not weird, okay? I just I'm just going for the completionist. It's for the it's for the trophy, I swear. I have no other ulterior motives. Okay. We need to get our button mashing ready. <gasps> Hello? I'm getting pissed off. I was almost at the bottom and it just shot straight to the top. Hi, Sin. You know, something's up when you can make massages th uh stressful what is up with this so like basically the what you want to do is keep the um you want to you want to be as high on the on the bar as possible but you can increase and decrease your little marker but then you're also fighting against like the game where it's like sometimes it'll it'll like jump it up way too high or it'll start bringing it down low so basically you don't want to get all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom and the higher you, the higher you stay the more score you'll get but i'm not even trying to get a good score i'm just trying to like actually survive <laughs> you know yeah you're just you're just hitting up and down but the but i don't understand man I I honestly I honestly feel like this there's something wrong with this. We're not clearly we're not gonna finish that one. We're not gonna pass that one. The super VIP, we have enough to at least see it, but I don't think we're gonna be able to pass this one because it's probably harder than the VIP oil. But at least let's see what outfit she has, I guess. And then we'll go um spend this 50. A pleasure unlike anything. It's that amazing. 
Okay, guys. A pleasure unlike anything anyone has ever experienced on this earth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who's- who are you? Where's Madi? Ultimate pleasure. Wow, your body is divine like a great god chiseled from the purest marble. I can't wait to work my magic on it. <laughs> I'll see you when you're back from heaven. I'm questioning my life decisions right now. Oh my god. Oh, it's a sleeping baby at least. You were fast asleep. <laughs> Was it was something wrong with the massage or is it because I'm not some voluptuous vixen? <sighs> oh shit. Hold on. Let's take a quick break. Hi, boat ladder. I missed a phone call here from his bondo. All right, uh, one second. That was, that's super hard. Those are super hard. I'm very disappointed. Um, I'll be right back. I won't be long. A couple minutes, maybe.
Yo. Okay. We back. We back. This is just... This sucked. This absolutely sucked ass. What a waste of my good hard-earned cash. Let's go to the fortune teller and let's just get this over with. I'm done. At least we got like a... From the Millennium Tower. Uh, we can get some of our money back here. Since we just spent it all. Okay, so if I knock him... No! Oh my god. I need to stop trying to do, like, Y combos with him because he just uses that quick time. He just uses that heat move. And I'm trying to do... So, I feel like Tanimura doesn't get into random fights, which I guess makes sense. But there's not punks coming up and trying to fight him like they do with everybody else. I just realized that. I just realized that. You're going to go to bed. Okay, video game expert. Thank you again for everything. Yeah. So it's like basically instead of random fights, these are the fights. These are like the instead, you know, the replacement for them. You go and do police work. Okay, we finally got the money. You wish to know about the information Yabe left behind? It will cost you 50,000 yen. Okay, so to get everybody caught up to speed on this little quest line that we're doing, there is a somebody who is the ringleader of this human trafficking, like a whole huge thing. And we're trying to find this person. His, he goes by the codename Bridge, I believe, something like that. And our latest clue is this guy who was writing... He was, like, writing an article or something. Um, he got murdered because he knew too much. He found out too much, and he left behind, like, his information in written form. And we're trying to get this fortune teller to tell us where we could find that information. We finished Nairs last night. Yeah. Hi, Jake. How are you? Yeah, there's Bob. Imagine Jin Sakai and Yakuza. <laughs> Where is your honor? Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Jin around all these freaking degenerates. I mean, not like he doesn't have to deal with degenerates in his... You know. Where he's at, but... It's just like a whole new level of degeneracy. In this, uh, in this era. In Kamurocho, especially. Okay, 50,000 yen. Greedy, aren't we? Okay. Man, I hope she gets this right. Huh. Naomi will not disappoint. Yes. Yes. I see a place. A bar frequented by the one they call Yabe. Are you telling me you actually see that in your ball of glass there? Silence. Do you doubt the great and powerful Naomi? Actually, yes. A little bit. No, it's not that. It's just kind of weird. Anyway, what's the bar's name? Quez Bar. The pool bar in the underground mall? Correct. Thanks. I'll be back if this lead's a good one. Wait, are we going to have to pay her again? Because I've, I've spent all my money. On degeneracy! We actually want to go this way.
Oh, shit. She's probably going to want, like, at least 75,000 next time. It's not good if that's the case. Okay. We've actually haven't been in here, have we? I don't think we have. We could play pool here. Ooh, that's tempting. Welcome. Uh, hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to know a writer named Yabe, would you? Writes about the sex industry? Oh, him. He was here two days ago. I see. Well, he's dead now. No. It's because he got involved with that woman. You're not talking about the woman from Hong Kong, are you? You know her? I know she is part of a crime ring. Yes, apparently she gave Yabe-san some rather vital information, to put it lightly. That's what I don't get. She must have known that would put her life in danger. A lady in the throes of love tends to throw caution to the wind. Wait, she and Yabe were in love? It's more like Yabe was a lady's man. Ah, I get it. He must have seduced the information out of her. And then he paid the price. Well, he's supposed to have hidden his information somewhere. Any idea where that might be? What do you intend to do with it? I'll use it to crush the syndicate once and for all. Can I trust you? You can. I'll do whatever it takes to prove it. Okay then. He said it was in a locker in the underground mall. Thank you. Okay. Yabe-san gave, gave his life for that information. Don't let it go to waste. You weren't in love with him too, were you? He was just a customer to me. That's all. Right. Well, see ya. Okay. Oh. Damn. These bastards were one step ahead of me. I'll be taking that bag off your hands. Ah, so you know what this is? Glad you showed up then. Now we can get rid of you. No, I have some moves, to, new moves to try out on you guys. Okay, so I need you on the floor. Unconscious or writhing. But I need to somehow pull that off without killing you. Or using my Y ability. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out here. Because if I use Y, he's just going to use that other move. Maybe if we counter? Okay, he's on the ground. No, that's not it. That's not the handcuffs. I don't know how to do this thing, man. That's just kicking him. Wait, 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 wait. That's we did it we cuffed him <laughs> finally so this is what yabe gave his life for a pile of papers hmm there's something else in here a ring and a letter it says to mitsuko that's the bartender i should take these to her oh a ring He was planning on celebrating your birthday with you. I begged him not to get involved with that horrible woman. I guess he was going to use the info to write an expose on the syndicate. What exactly did he find out? Details of the syndicate's activities. Recruiting Asian women. Counterfeiting passports. Arranging fake marriages with Japanese men. Operating brothels. Is that enough to take down the syndicate for good? I'm not 100% sure this would qualify as conclusive evidence, but it could play a big role in exposing their operations, which could eventually lead to bringing them down. Good. Tanimura-san, would you take this for me? I got an Eye of the Dragon. Gabi always wore it as sort of a lucky charm. It hurts too much to keep it now. Okay, then I'll hold on to it for you. 
and I promise to use this information to get Bridge. Yabe-san won't have died in vain. Thank you. Oh, their health needs to be below 50%. Gotcha. Okay, so now... Now what? Let's go back upstairs. What do we do now that we have this information? Or is that it? Do we finish it? Bridge. Just like the case my father was on, look like it's up to me to expose. So I think we finished part one of that. Okay. All right, let's go to the underground parking lot then. Let's do some main story. Finally do some main story. Do we have any locker keys to open up? I'm not sure I picked up too many with this guy. No, I haven't. Cool. That'll help. Okay, so let me remind myself. Time to get the 100 million from the car in Kamado Cho. Oh, okay. That's what we were doing. Oh, there's a there's another subquest down there. Huh. Okay, are we in the right parking lot? I'm kind of confused about what my mini map is showing me. We went down one of these stairs, so I'm assuming we're in the right place. Maybe we just have to find the right car. Where do we park? Where do we park the company car? Uh, can't remember. All I know is it was near a stairway leading up. A stairway leading up? There's five of those in here. Can't you even remember the general area where we parked? Sorry, maybe it'll still come to me. Ugh, this is exactly why our sales are slumping. Why don't you remember, supervisor? Okay, I don't see anything yet. We have the key to the car. I wonder if we could like beep it, you know? Can we beep it? I don't think it works like that. Um. Explosive fishing. I she gave us the key, but I don't even see it in our key items. Examine. Does the key fit? I think we found it. Nope. Let's try another one. Oh, are you serious? Oh, but it's only the trunk, so... Only cars that are facing... The wall, basically. Which... There aren't too many that are. Aha, we got it. It opened. And there's that briefcase, just like Yasuko-san said. Okay, so I've got a briefcase loaded to the brim with yen. 100 million yen, in fact. This is good. All that's left is figuring out how to get in touch with Katsuragi. 
Get in touch with Katsuragi. Now, what's the easiest way for a community safety officer to reach a powerful member of the Yakuza? Never thought I'd ask myself that. Okay. Well, let's get out of this parking lot. Hello? Tanimura-san, right? Yeah, that's me. And you are? Eh, that's not important. Let's just cut to the chase. You want info on Katsuragi, don't you? How did you... It's my job to know that... Oh, is this the florist? Or is it somebody else? It's my job to know that sort of thing. As such, it works only to my benefit to funnel information to you. That's fine, but why should I believe some random caller who could be a total scammer for all I know? Good point, except you don't have anywhere else to turn right now, do you? Not really. That's what I thought. Now, do you want that information or not? Or of course, you could always hang up and be on your way. No, let's hear what you have to say. Smart man, only thing is, nothing in life is free. What, you're giving me a quote already? Everything has its price, officer, but I'm not interested in your money. I just want to see how good of a detective you are. I feel like this is maybe the florist. Remember, he tested Saijima as well. You'll be receiving a message from me shortly. Open it up, read it, and follow the instructions. Very self-explanatory. Well, best of luck. Hey, we're not done yet. Boop. Okay, it's either the florist or s someone else. Okay, an informant awaits you where this site can be seen. Get over there on the double. Huh. We need to go to the roof, it looks like. And there's like a cone-shaped, like, chimney kind of thing. Okay, well, we definitely want to go upstairs then. It's Akiyama. He wants to give Tanimura a loan. <laughs> I have a test for you. Oh, that actually would fit. Except the fact that I don't know how he would know what Tanimura is trying to do or where he is or who he is. But yeah. <laughs> okay, so I believe the first step is to get on a rooftop here. Sorry, I'm just knocking everybody over. Don't mind me, officer. Now, these rooftops are very, very extensive. So, this might be tough. There's, there's two sets of rooftops as well. Uh, I'm not liking my chances here. Ooh, sexy, sexy typhoon. Just how good of a detective are we? I don't know. Good question. But if you guys see that pointy chimney thing, let me know. I'm somewhat close where I'm at. Well, that's good to know. That probably means that I'm on the right set of rooftops. At least. I hope. You saw it in the distance for a moment. Ah, did you now? Hmm. 
Wasn't the ground green? Wait, you guys all see it? Where? Which direction? Oh my god. Am I the only one who can't see it? <laughs> it's a brown pointy thingy. Oh, there! Okay, okay, wait, wait. So we need to go... around here. I mean, if it was, like, bright pink or something, it'd be way easier to spot. Oh! There's the guy. Are you Tanimura-san? That I am. You're the one who called me? I don't know anything about a call. My boss just told me to come here and give this to you. Here, take it. Yeah, it's the florist. <laughs> What's this for? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you got a secret admirer. Either way, it's yours now. A bouquet of flowers? I don't get it. Wait, there's a note inside. It says... Well done, gumshoe. You take after your papa more than I expected. I suppose I should uphold my end of the bargain. You'll be getting a call from Katsuragi soon. What you do next is up to you. Just see that you don't waste this chance. Well, I'm glad... I thought he was going to send us on like a whole wild goose chase. <laughs> ポリシチ。実は今、西島康子を俺が預かっている。警察にはまだ報告していない。あくまで俺が身柄を拘束している状態だ。なるほど。あんたが西島康子を使って柴田組の連中を殺すよう命じていたことは分かっている。もちろん
それでもいいですか構わないでは明日I'm meeting Katsuragi tomorrow at 5 p.m. I think I'll go rest at Homeland until then. Okay, well, let's get off of this rooftop then. That bouquet is the same one that Makoto brings to Tachibana's grave in Zero. What, what's funny about that? It's not funny at all. That just makes me sad thinking about it. Okay. To Homeland. We're going to probably finish this chapter. What chapter are we even on? Chapter two. Only chapter two. I'm guessing in like the next chapter we can we can continue that one with bridges. With the bridges guy. Okay, where is this place? Am I in the right? Okay, this is... This is where what's-her-name was. Oh, this looks about right. Ah, Machan, how'd it go? You find the briefcase? Yeah, took me long enough. Sure wish I'd thought to ask Yasuko-san Yasuko what her car looked like before she left. Anyway, I got a call from Katsuragi not long after that. We set up a meeting tomorrow. Nani. We got a fucking motherfucking Nani. Wow. Sixth one after how many hours? Jow picking up the slack until Kiryu is back with us, right? I know it is <laughs> it's so sad we're not even in the double digits we're not even in the double digits and we're like halfway through the game I think or more <laughs> yikes okay really you did wow that's quite the breakthrough I'm sure he's up to something though you better be prepared I will be. In the meantime, you mind holding on to this briefcase for me? Okay, let's save. Like Psycho said, that's a good idea. Let's get rid of... I don't need this for roulette. I don't need that or that. Let's save. Let's... Ooh, I don't even have money to buy... Like, medicine... I mean, I could buy a little bit. Oh, man. There's another sub story that opened up. Jeez Louise. Hmm. Must be outside. I thought it was in it looked like it was in here. What? I don't understand. No. I don't want this shit. I don't want this shit. I don't understand. Okay, should we go... Oh. Hmm, it's from Homeland. Hello? Machan! Meihua, what's up? We need you back at Homeland! Hurry! Whoa, calm down and tell me what happened. Just hurry back here now! Something awful has happened! Okay, okay, I'll be right there! 
What the fuck? Maybe this is the sub story. She seemed really rattled. I should head over. Okay, let's head over. Sounds like it can't wait. Oh, Machan! I got here as quick as I could. What's going on? I've never heard you sound so worried over the phone before. The Asian getaway gateway money's gone missing. What? Gone missing? I think you meant we got flat out robbed. Ow! Are you okay, Dad? Yeah, Jiao San, what happened? These guys suddenly barged in here and said, Give us the money you're hoarding. I tried to say no, and that's why I look like this. They raided the place in broad daylight, huh? Do you have any injuries? How about Mei Hua? I'm fine, and Mei Hua wasn't here. That's a relief. Machan, they left with this message. If you want your money back, tell the parasite of Kamurocho to come alone to the vacant lot across from Public Park 3. Parasite of Kamurocho, huh? Even criminals are calling me that now. What an honor. Well, it looks like it's me they're after. Machan, we can save that money back up again. You don't have to. I do. They're after me, so if I don't go, this will happen over and over. But Machan, it's too dangerous. Ah, uh, I'll be fine. This sort of thing is nothing new to me. But the vacant lot across from par Public Park 3. That's far. I guess I'd better start walking. Don't hurt yourself, Machan. Or we could take a taxi. So, Public Park 3. Which one is that? I'm guessing the other only the only other park that I can think of is the one that's over to the west. Over by Sen yeah, that one. Okay, let's head over there then. Well, so much for taking the taxi, I guess. Oh, Tenkaichi Alley? Meh. Let's just go to the park. Okay. This one. I'm here. Hello? Am I early? Did I read the quest wrong? What did they say? They're waiting. Oh, in the open lot. Right, right, right. I forgot about that detail. Okay, the open lot. Oh, here. Sorry. Ah, we've been waiting for you. So you're the parasite of Kamurocho, huh? A real pleasure meeting the most crooked cop in town. You guys who you guys who attacked Homeland? Why did you do it? Why? You've got some nerve to ask. Our mission is to punish people like you who prey on the weak. I've heard all sorts of things about you. How you extort piles of money from women who can't go to the cops, for instance. And I know you and that chubby old man are in on it together. What do you intend to do with the money? What else but return it to the good, honest people you stole it from? That's why we brought you here, so you can get to telling us their names. Oh, and we were thinking we should break one or both of your arms for good measure. Otherwise, you'd go right back at it. I see. So, is that all you had to say? Huh? What? Just give me back the money already. You're done talking, right? You little prick! You think this is some kind of game? Like we're gonna be... Looks like we're gonna be breaking more than just your arms. Okay. You are talking to, like, the arm breaker of Kamurocho here. How do you think 
think that's going to end for you. Hmm? Allow me to show you. Oh, or just do that. Damn. Oh, I thought someone was coming after me with a bike. All right, here we go. See, I'm the one who's breaking arms around here. Sorry. Come on, I want to do a parry. Oh my god, you suck. No, just go breaking your arms then. All right, now give me the money. I'll never give it back. Not to a dirty scrou scoundrel. Scoundrel like you. Machan. Meihua, what are you doing here? I was so worried. I just had to come and check on you. And it's not just me. Huh? You good, Tanimura? Makun, please tell me you're okay. We're here for you, big bro. Yeah, now step away from Machan this instance. You'd better not have heard him. Who are all these people? I apologize. It looks like I made a terrible mistake. How could you believe some stupid rumors? And you better apologize to my dad, too. I... I'm sorry. Please forgive me, sir. That's enough, Meihua. It looks like it was just a misunderstanding. Maybe, but he just called you a chubby old man a few minutes ago. What? <laughs> but you were in the wrong too, Machan. You knew it was a misunderstanding right from the start. You should have talked it out instead of fighting. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just that negotiating's such a hassle. Mendoxai. <laughs> oh, Machan. So... Yanagi. Yes? All that talk about helping the weak just now. Was that for real? Of course. He's already helped out plenty of people in this town. This time was a bit of a clusterfuck, though. All right, then. Starting today, you're going to be helping the Asian Gateway. What? I imagine that you've been using those same violent methods that you use today in order to help people, correct? That may be one way of doing things, but too many things could go wrong. I can't just sit by and watch that happen. All in all, I do believe we have the same goal. We should be working together, don't you think? Well, you forgive us for what happened today. We're not the Yakuza. As far as I'm concerned, what happened today is over and done with. So, will you agree to help? I'd be honored to. <laughs> Okay, then I'll teach you all about what the Asian Gateway does. From here on out, you'll be my official understudy. Sure, looking forward to it. Hey, I'm really sorry about today. Please take this as my apology to you. I got a ruby. Come on, we've got a lot of work to do. Coming! Okay, that was quick. And we got a ruby. Now, I think we're ready to go meet with Katsuragi. Let's let's try it by Kotobuki. We should probably do that. I think this is the 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 last uh, big fight that's going to end this chapter. This this section here. I have a feeling we might need some healing items. Although, I feel like we've made uh, we made this guy pretty strong. We've got him a lot of moves and stuff. But you can never be too careful. Okay. I would like... Some of these. Because that's about all I can afford right now. 
And well, I can get one more. There we go. We got hella healing items. Hello, Jax. How are you doing? How many protagonists does this game have every time you come in? We're a new guy. Well, we've seen three so far. This is our third protagonist so far. So Tanimura, first was Akiyama, and second was Saijima. Okay, back to Little Asia. Global darts. I want to play darts. No, I don't. I'm sure there's darts somewhere we can play. We're not going to get down, go down that road right now. We're not going to do it. We'll be stuck there forever. What are you guys doing? Is something wrong? Wait, are we not, we're not done with this? We've got some graffiti artists on our hands. That's been happening for a while now, hasn't it? Around Little Asia. No, this time it's different. What do you mean? It's written in Chinese, Korean, and even Thai. Is that such a surprise? Japanese is like a foreign language in this part of town. I can't argue with that, but I'm concerned about the people who wrote it. Do you know who they are? Yeah, it's probably some of our kids. How do you know? Because they wrote stuff like, I hate Japan for sending my dad away. And the Japanese don't think of us as people. Really sad things like that. You really think the Asian Gateway kids would do that? I really don't know, but since the kids in the Asian Gateway are left without parents, I'm not sure who else it could be. That's true. All right. I'm going to try and find who's doing it and have a little talk with them. For starters, where's all this graffiti? One's at the north entrance to Little Asia. Another's on a building across from Homeland. And the last one should be at the entrance to Little Asia from East Taihei Boulevard. North. Building across from here. And East Taihei entrance. They usually paint their graffiti around this time, when we're busy getting ready to open up shop for the day. Okay, I'll start off with the north entrance to Little Asia, but if I do catch somebody, I wouldn't want the other kids to see. Good thinking. Don't take them to the Asian Gateway then. Bring them to West Park. I'll be waiting there. Got it. See you later then. <sighs> okay, well we might as well do this, I guess. Okay. Well, this is the north entrance. Are they doing the graffiti inside? Little Asia? Oh, here he is. Is that you, Nui? Uh-oh. Oh, great. We're going to chase a bunch of kids. Wait. Man, that kid's fast. I doubt he'll leave Little Asia, but there's so many places he could hide around here. Oh, we need to find him in first person. Well, here's a key. For starters. I'd rather just chase him down. That would be so much easier. he go like this way at all I wonder I don't know or did I just completely pass him hey did you see a kid around here 
I don't see shit. What's this place? Where the hell are we? What is all this stuff? I've never been out here. Have you seen a kid? Nope. Shit. No! Oh my god, what is up with this camera angle? Okay, this is making me just want to skip this sub story. I just really want to get to the main story and now they're making me play hide and seek with a damn kid. He's got to be around here. Somewhere I just have to look carefully. Oh my god, I see him. You can't hide there forever, you know. Yikes! You found me! Alright, bye Chi. Have a good night. Hey, Scavalomax. How's it going? Look, I'm not mad at you or anything, but I need to know why you've been tagging. Will you tell me? I'm not telling anything! Come on, I promise I won't get you in trouble. I just want to hear your side of things. So could you wait for me in West West Park for a little while? That okay with you? Whatever. Fine. Next is the building across from Homeland. Okay, well this is Homeland, so... By building across from, I guess they would mean... Here he is. Big bro? What are you doing with that? Hey! Oh, come on. How did this kid get so quick? Well, I'm sure he's still in Little Asia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We won't stray too far this time. Because last time, that didn't help. There he is. Found you, Tao. Ah! You scared me! Hey, calm down. Okay. We're gonna send him to West Park, too. And we'll get the last one at the Taihei Boulevard entrance. East Taihei Boulevard. I need to get out of here. Okay. Oh, this is East Taihei Boulevard. Oh, okay. So this was actually the right one. All right, where's the kid? Where's the kid? Where you at, kid? There you at. There you are. <laughs> You've been caught. bet she's hiding in this kitchen. Maybe? Nope. Maybe not. Oh! What do you mean? Hold on a second. I'll be right back, guys. Hi, Colin! One sec.
Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. Where did I go? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, we're finding this girl. We're finding this girl. And then we're gonna do the main story after we talk to these kids. Where is she? Has anyone seen her? She's hiding from us. She's hiding. Well, she wouldn't be out there. Nope. Nope. I can't go into first person mode here, so that's not it. That wouldn't be it. Guys, I haven't seen a spider man. Huh? Yes, right here. I haven't seen a spider man movie since Tobey Maguire, guys. I'm like so behind. I'm not ready for this new Spider-Man movie that everyone's so excited about. I haven't even seen this Spider-Man Homecoming or whatever the hell it was called. I think we need to widen our search radius here. Where the hell did she go? usually pretty close to where you find where you find them initially so let's go back oh that's not her that's she's smoking a cigarette i hope that's not the girl wouldn't that be something Okay, so this is the East Taihei Boulevard entrance. What 
was over here again? Just this. This isn't it. Wait, what's up here? Is she hiding under there? Oh, she's probably up here, maybe. What is this place? Oh, this we were here before. I don't see her. Why is there... There's just a... There's just a urinal here. Are there door... There's no doors or anything. That's weird. Like, I mean... It's just... Don't you have to go through here to get to here? I feel like if you're gonna have a doorless restroom, don't put it in between these two sections of your establishment. Right? Am I wrong? <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. I mean, that's true, but... Is she, like, up in the rafters or something? What the hell? Where did she go? Have you guys seen her? Am I just being blind right now? She's nowhere to be found. You wonder why they didn't show Elena in the Uncharted trailer? You mean in the, the Uncharted trailer with the um, Spider-Man guy? What's his name again? It's because he doesn't meet her until he's an adult. Okay, I'm just about to just give up on this. Like, for real, for real? seen her has anyone seen this girl Like, there's only so many places to search for her. Why do I hear voices when I come in here? There's nobody in here. Little girl. Little girl. Little girl. Little girl? Have you seen the little girl? Little girl? Little girl? Let me Google this shit. I'm about to Google this shit. She's 
not anywhere. She is the best hide and seeker ever. That's cheating. Well, do you want to be here all night? Because I don't. Little girl? Maybe she's hiding in that pig's head. getting flashbacks this has happened before i don't remember looking for ratty children like this before i liked when we played hide and seek with the kids at the orphanage and they were all easy to find but then i've decided to find that one girl first and so she cried we just made that girl cry it was fun She's hiding in the vents. She's gotta be. I don't care about this trash. I just want... Yeah, I, I've looked everywhere I can think of to look. So let's Google it. <laughs> Googling it. Abandon the kid and do main story so she's waiting to be found forever. It's really tempting. He's in Little Asia. It's like it's such a small area even to look through. She's in the rafters above Homeland. She's in the rafters? She really is in the rafters? I was just kidding. I wasn't serious. Hold on, I need to go back over there then. isn't the way this is not the way we gotta go around here right now clamp i'm actually feeling that right now the graffiti you kids have been spraying is causing trouble for a lot of people do you understand go easy on them dad yeah. no they need to hear the truth they're just kids jiao san getting angry won't help Boy. 
Miyun, you come here right now. Why don't we hear their side of the story first? All right, guys. Where's all this negativity about Japan coming from? Because it was the Japanese who sent my daddy back to China. And my daddy to Korea. And my mommy to Thailand. And that's why we're all alone now. It's like Japan doesn't care what happens to us at all. Yeah, it's like we're invisible to everyone but us. That's why Japan sucks. That's why we did the graffiti. No one pays attention to us kids, but they sh sure wake up when they see paint all over their walls. But you guys are putting graffiti in Little Asia, not like outside. So no one's going to see it except... The people of Little Asia. Like, what the hell? Guys, I understand how you feel. No, you don't, you big liar! Yes, I do. I actually felt the same way as you back when I was your age. What? No joke. I seriously hated this country. You did? Yep. But I realized something when I got older. It's not this country's fault. What? You're gonna tell me it's my dad's fault now? No. It's not your parents' fault either. But it has to be somebody's fault. Look how miserable we are. The answer is, it's nobody's fault. When people are born poor or lose their parents or something terrible like that, they tend to try and blame someone. They blame Japan or they blame the laws. You see where I'm going with this, right? You're blaming Japan because you don't know what to take your anger out on. Listen, we're all people, whether we're Japanese or Chinese or whatever. Every one of us has the potential to become rich or be happy. All we have to do is work for it. Really? That's right. We all have troubles in our lives, and there's no one on this planet, no one, that doesn't. But blaming those troubles on others and complaining about them won't solve anything. So stop this ridiculous graffiti, study hard, and set yourself some goals. If you really put an effort into it, pretty soon you can start making things better for yourself and earn people's respect. Am I making sense to you guys? Yeah! All right, now that we're all on the same page, how about I make something special for dinner? Your taste buds won't believe what hit them. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Race you to the Asian gateway. <laughs> I want... I want whatever he's cooking. This was a good experience for those kids. I hope so. Those kids have a harsh reality to face. It's only a matter of time before they'll have to deal with their situation as adults. And that all doesn't always turn out pretty. Yeah. Don't worry so much, Machan. That's why the Asian Gateway is here, right? To do for them what only we can do? Yeah. It's one thing to have faith in the future generation and another to put that faith to work. Okay. Well... If I knew it was going to be that big of an ordeal, I probably would have skipped that one. <laughs> but we got some experience and we got a level up out of it. So that's good. We can get this Bodhisattva that I'm saying completely wrong, probably. We'll grab that. Damn, I'm, I'm still poor. I didn't get money out of that. Okay, let's go and do this main story now. And just as long as Nanako's not included in that statement? Oh, never. Never, 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 never. Alright. I am ready to go. After I save. Because that would probably be a good idea to do. Yay. Okay, we're ready to meet Katsuragi tomorrow. Yes. Sounds like a good idea. Thanks. Sure, you take it easy now. Okay, so we're going to rest here until tomorrow. The next day. Well, Jao-san, I'm off. All right, stay on your toes, Machan. Will do.
Okay, so we're going to meet in front of the Millennium Tower. Remember that. Anybody want some wings while we're here? Oh, well, he came in person. I guess that was maybe the plan. But he has a guy who's going to check the the money, right? How long have you been here? Since long before you arrived. I'd wager you saw me in the crowd but didn't recognize me. That tells me you don't have much of a file on me. A relief, really. Now, what will it be? Shall we proceed with the deal? No, let's walk and talk. Here? Around. Maybe it'll help jog your memory, you know? I'm sure you have so much to tell. You really have thought this through. A moving target is a lot harder to hit. Not to mention, I thought you'd appreciate a nice long stroll through Tojo Clan turf. How thoughtful of you. Then lead the way, Tanimura-san. では、そろそろ本題に入りましょう。谷村さん。あなたはお父さんの死の真相が知りたいと、そうおっしゃってましたね。ああ、そうだ。俺の親父の死、あれは25年前の上野義晴襲撃事件に関係しているんじゃないの
私と柴田が動いていたことを突き止めただがその捜査の過程でもっと大きなものを発見してしまったんです。Something even それは何なんだ Baker? 不正です。あなたのお父さんは事件の捜査をしていくうちに、oh. 警察内部の不正の事実を知ってしまったんですよ。警察内部の不正だと ?25 年前の事件。あの事件は警察によって捜査されたものだったんです。西島大河ではない。事件の真犯人を隠すためのね真犯人だとええそうですあの事件西島大河は襲撃を行ったでも真の犯人は別にもう一人いるんですあんたが安子さんに知っていると言った真犯人ってのはそいつのことなんだなあなたのお父さんはその真犯人の正体と真犯人を知りながらもそれをもみ消した警察の不正を知ってしまっただから殺されたんですよ誰なんだ親父を殺したやつってのはその真犯人ってのは<笑>こんな時間に外を歩いたのは久しぶりだおい答えろカツラギその前に取引です西島康子さんの居場所教えてもらいましょうかこの一億はくれてやるだから安子さんのことは見逃してやってくれカノジは沖縄へ行った西島大河に会うためにな<笑>何がおかしい彼女の役目はもう終わったはずだもう手遅れなんですよ。さえじまやすこも。お前も。run。where did everybody go。this is some majima level。okay this is。Yeah? So, you? Or someone else? <laughs> It was me. Nani? Katsuragi! Nada Hanasa, what did I do? Ah, so da. I know Anata Kayote, you cook your temi say. No, not Joe. 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 Not <laughs> There's more to this? What the hell? What the f 
What is happening? So come on, Sugiuchiso. Hey, 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 Ah, oh, so Katsuragi orchestrated all of it. We're fighting with the <laughs> briefcase full of hundred million yen. That's one way to do it. Oh, damn. Yeah, I guess it would be pretty heavy, huh? Well, this is fun. We should just carry a hundred million yen around with us all the time. beat these guys and then maybe we should start making our way towards where are we right now oh we're at theater avenue okay so we need to go this way Do we have to kill them all? Well, not kill, you know. So I wonder... I wonder how many people... If any... Saijima actually killed then. Because Katsuragi was the one who finished... Those off that were... Still alive. Maybe, maybe he could be cleared of all charges and he wouldn't have to be on the run, run anymore. I find it kind of difficult to believe that he wouldn't have been able to kill anyone. Because I feel like it's kind of hard to shoot a bunch of people point blank and not kill a single one of them, but I don't know. What do I know? You can pause it right here for a second. Let me see if I missed anything here in chat. Um, did those enemies have too much free time telling civilians to disappear and plan to hide every corner of the street and then they just suddenly show up like robots from a factory? Their team chemistry is like god tier. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Here's where the story is starting to pick up. This is where the story is starting to pick up. I feel like the story has been pretty crazy so far. Is uh, So you're saying it's going to get even crazier. Um, that's mine. Give it back! Okay, well now it's time to use my moves on you guys. Using that briefcase was just 
was just a handicap for Tanimura. Now my hands are free to do all the things. Oh, damn. Okay, these guys are kind of scary. Oh! Oh, damn. Never seen that one before. That was wild. I need this. No! I want the sword. I keep picking up dudes. Don't you guys hate it when you try to pick up, like, a knife so you can cook something, but then you just end up picking up a bunch of guys instead? It's, like, so weird, right? I hate it when that happens. It's like, get the fuck out of my kitchen. Give me my... Ugh. Oh, we can chase okay where is my sword i don't want to throw the sword at him that'd be so fun this guy's slow i was about to hit him what do you mean he went up up the stairs I mean, I saw him earlier. Around when I first started streaming. He was in the hallway. Yeah, he was right outside. Or maybe he's in... He might actually be in here. He might be in my closet. Okay. Hi, Ichi. The trumpet? Yeah, I like the trumpet too. <laughs> hey, Mr. Noobsta. What's up? Yeah, Mochi found, uh, he found my closet. I guess it's his new favorite spot to be. I tried to take a picture of him 
Um, but he moved back into a corner where I can't really see him. But yeah, he found like an impossible place to get into. He's just chilling back there. Just chilling. Oh, I didn't even realize I had a bottle. Well, not anymore. Oh, now I do. I mean, eventually this guy's just going to run out of energy here. He's almost out. Yep. Wait, what? Oh, wrong button. <laughs> You're under arrest. Give me my money back. Ugh. Sorry, but you'll have to try harder than that. Too many goddamn tackles. <laughs> I think I busted a rib. <laughs> Going somewhere? You people really don't give up, do you? Fine, if it's a fight you want, you got it. Damn, Tanimura is such a badass. Like, I feel like he's definitely the underdog here. Wait, let's test this. So if I stand still, yeah, it looks like my heat goes up. That's pretty cool. I feel like he's definitely, like, at a disadvantage. Compared to, like, Kiryu, Saejima, you know... And even Akiyama. But. He's still go going hard, you know? And he's not afraid of a fight. I can kind of respect him for that. I can't even do my parry. Oh, I can't even do my parry with this damn seat. I'm I'm have a handicap right now. I can't even do my grab. But I can do that. That's kind of fun. It's so graceful. This is taking way too long. I need to get there now. Well, I'm trying, Tanimura. I'm trying. Just like Zack when he calls in the airstrike. I'm trying. I'm trying. This is bad. This place is crawling with Katsuragi's goons. There he is. Ugh, I don't have time for this. Better make a run for it. Where's our backup? Where's Akiyama? Where's Saijima? Whoa. Jump. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. This is where our suicide running training will come in handy. But we can't dodge roll, can we? I can't dodge roll, though. We just gotta run. Okay, we made it. Hey, it's that kid. This it? Talk about hard to find. Now, Scram, wouldn't want you getting hurt now, would we? Hold it right there. Well, well. Kudos on making it this far. Take this to Homeland for me. Okay. Can she even carry that? I know you're after me, so leave these people out of it. We're actually more interested in that restaurant and the money than you. But if you want us to walk over your corpse to get him, hey, that's your call. I'd like to see you try. I don't have my handicap anymore. Now you're fucked. Yeah, you should be afraid. You should be very afraid. Ow. Oh. Ow. That looks like it's stung. Oh, yeah. 
shit. I think we gotta do the drop kick. Oh fuck. Damn it, where's Saijima when you need him to just throw a bicycle at somebody? A motorcycle, rather. You know? Where is he when you need him the most? I'm gonna die here. It's okay, we stocked up on hella drugs. All the drugs. Now it's just you and me, buddy. I got bad news for you. Now, bad news for you. Okay. Well, this feels like it's going to take a while. Maybe we should grab this sword. so hard to get why am i locked onto him but i'm still swinging in like random ass direct okay screw this that is not working there's gotta be something else i i can do against this guy like even if i counter him like even if i parry him I, I can't do much damage to him we gotta get him into the wall like we did with that with nair that's what we gotta do oh but he's just gonna be he's just gonna go to the floor then and i can't hit him there we go. There we go. Okay. Once you get that hidden, it's all worth it. There we go. There we go. There we go. cornered come on come on just a little bit a little bit more here there we go this guy's pretty tough much john yeah, Machan, what happened? You're all right. Man, I'm so happy I could hug you. Maybe after I catch my breath. Are you okay, Machan? Yeah, I'll be good in a minute. Oh, by the way, there's someone here to see you. Huh? Tony Murakun, thank goodness you're safe. Okay, I remember. I'm like, who the fuck is. I remember him now. Chief? Oh, we did it! We did it! To chapter three, Door to the Truth. Ooh, that sounds intriguing, doesn't it? Nani! Nani! Oh my god, Zhao is my new favorite character! He's the best! What? You mean someone else killed those 18 men? Right. The Uenosewa officers were taken out by one of their own. Katsuragi. Then Yasuko Saijima's brother is innocent? Well, I mean, it was attempted murder, at the very least. Well, he did carry out the attack, so he's far from innocent. But there's a big difference in sentencing, sentencing for murder and attempted murder. Hmm... 
Was this Katsuragi also responsible for killing your father? I couldn't get an answer out of him. I see. Um, I want to thank Popacalis and Wild Monaka for following. Sorry, I didn't realize I um, still had my alerts off for the cutscene that we were doing earlier with Katsuragi. But thank you guys for that. Appreciate it. If you're still here, if you're still here, welcome. Either way, Tanimura-kun that sent you pulled had me worried half to death. I got a call from Suyuchi-kun in Homicide telling me you were trying to contact the Uenos Uenosewa. So I took it upon myself to search for you before you round up in danger, which ended up happening anyway. Ah, so that's why you're here. Tanimura-kun, you must have some inclination as to how dangerous the Uenosewa clan is right now. Are you even aware of the gravity of the situation? Eh, more or less. Ugh. Well, at least this Katsuragi seems to know something about your father's killer. Sounds like progress to me. Yeah, I guess that's one way to look at it. Then why the long face? You finally have a promising lead. Something that Katsuragi said has been bugging me. And what was that? The police covered up the truth about the massacre in 1985. They knew the real killer was Katsuragi, but they pinned it all on Saijima. Nani! Oh! The Nani's are a plenty tonight! We might just get into the. <gasps> Gasp! Double digits! <laughs> How many hours into this game? How many hours? I'll have to check next time we save. Unless someone happened to notice last time we saved how many hours we were. Huh? What? None of this rings a bell, Chief? No, I'm not in homicide and back then I was as low on the totem pole as it gets. Fair enough. So were the, pol uh, so were the police trying to c protect Katsuragi? If so, why? Who knows? But they obviously couldn't let a scandal like that go public. I just thought of something. Hmm? Maybe we could dig something up at headquarters. Oh yeah? How? Archive room 13 on basement level 3. The so-called forbidden room. Forbidden room? That's right. Also known as the scandal graveyard. All records of police misconduct over the years supposedly end up there. Or so the rumor goes. Interesting then we might just find something useful. Yes, or, well, it could all simply be a rumor. Still, worth a shot. In fact, I'm all over it. Now hold your horses, Tanimura-kun. Think about it. Archive 13 is smack dab in the middle of headquarters. A rookie like you can't just go strolling in there without permission. I never planned on asking. I mean, we're dealing with someone who can cover up mass murder. I doubt they'd be keen on giving me access to the evidence. You serious about this, Machan? Tanimura-kun, I... No, nothing. Call Date! He could get you in there, maybe. I mean, even though he's not even part of the police anymore, he's always ending up in there with that room, so... Hmm, we have not... We have not seen Date at all in this game. Nine nannies only. No Date. Worst Yakuza game ever. I have to say. Not really though, but still. These developers be stingy. So, we all ready to go? Huh? Wait, we as in you and me? Of course. Us community safety boys gotta stick together, right? Besides, I've only been to HQ maybe once or twice. I probably couldn't find this archive even if I tried. But you know right where it is, don't you, Chief? What? No, I... 
Well, I mean, yes, but be that as it may. Great, then I'll be counting on you. <laughs> too bad, he sighed. Too bad. Okay, to police HQ. Okay, let's go there. We, we can get there by taxi. Anything I gotta take of, care of before we go to HQ? No. I'm, I'm done. I'm done doing side stuff right now. Sure, I'm all set. Okay, but we pay our own cab fare. Headquarters might start asking if we file an expense report. Head... Okay, where would you like to go? Headquarters. We're with the Tokyo Metro Police. Very well, sir. I barely have an oh i do have barely have enough for the cab i spent it all on um staminins okay did we get in wow we just we just got in okay let me talk to this guy first is this the same room i'm thinking of where's the desk did they redecorate or is this a different place all together. Okay, okay. We're looking for a needle in a haystack. All right. Hey, I think I found it. You did? Wait, that's the first place I looked. Oh, cool. Um, the assault on Yoshiharu, Yoshiharu Ueno. One, case overview. The attempt on Yoshiharu Ueno's life was carried out on April 21st, 1985. Shortly after 12 noon that day, a lone gunman armed with six revolvers burst into a ramen shop located in Tokyo's Suginami Ward. Yoshiharu Ueno, Ueno chairman of the Ueno Sewa clan, was one of the 20 men shot inside and one of the two who survived. The gunman was one Tainga Saijima, a 20-year-old member of the Tojo clan. On the day of the incident. Wait, so he was 20. So he's 45 now. On the day of the incident, Ueno had just been released after serving a two-year prison term. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? You're barely an adult. 25 years. And then you're 45 and you get out of prison. On the day of the incident, Ueno had just been released after serving a two-year prison term. With him were several top members. Ooh. Excuse me. Of his clan. This report is missing something. Just like Katsuragi said, according to him, he should be the one listed as the killer. But all that's here is the part Saijima played. Two, investigation. The Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department formed... A special investigation team led by detectives Taigi Tanimura and Junji Sugiuchi. Dad and Sugiuchi? They worked the case together? Oh, so Sugiuchi is K, I think it was? Why haven't I heard this before? What the hell's going on? Okay. Huh. What did you find out? More than I expected. Let's go. What? Already? Yeah, I have a good lead. No point wasting any, any more time here. Okay, are we gonna go talk to Sugiuchi? Shit, it's 821? Motherfuck. Chief, I have a few things I need to check out. Why don't I see you later? That's fine. I'll be back at the station if you need me. Just don't do anything crazy, you hear? Your father wouldn't want you going out guns blazing over this. I wouldn't go that far. I think I'll head back to Homeland for now. I need some time to digest all this. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Whatever this is. So we can um, get some money because we broke.
Whoa. Time flies when the plot is juicy. I know. Sounds like you from earlier. Oh, did did um your first was it your first your first stream of Shimigami Tensei Five just flew by? That's good. I'm excited to play that one. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. We'll be getting to it soon. We'll be starting it up pretty soon here. Oh, we got twenty thousand yen. You know how many time how many massages we could get with that? Like four of the normal ones, of the cheap ones, I think. Okay, we're gonna save and we're just gonna stop here because we, yeah, we're pretty much out of time. That's why you're streaming it. Oh, well, I'm excited. I'm excited. I should have gone the other way. I really fucked up. I should have taken one of the other entrances because I always get lost in this part. Let's just get out of here. I think it's going to be faster to just take a different one. Ah, oh, man. Well, I guess we're going to have to come back to this on Friday. Unfortunately. But that's okay. We're going to... I feel like Friday is going to be crazy. There's going to be some crazy stuff happening. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to save really quickly here before getting roped into anything else. Oh, Machan, you're back. How'd the thing go? Well, I found the case report for the hit. You did? What did it say? A lot of stuff I already knew, plus one piece, one new piece of info. Oh? Sugiuchi was investigating that case, along with my dad. Sugiuchi? The same one that's always giving you hell back at the station? Mm-hmm. I've talked to him more times than I care to remember, but he never once mentioned being on a case with my dad. And that's despite him knowing how bad I want the truth. That's not the worst of it, either. I'm starting to believe someone on the force did my father in. Katsuragi said as much when we met yesterday. Another officer. Things just keep getting better, huh? Seriously. Why don't you call it a day, Machan? Even you need to rest at some point. You're right. I think I'll knock out for a while. You do that. Hey, Meihua, get Machan's futon ready. Oh. Okay. So I think we're going to be going to the fourth chapter. Yeah, that was very short. Okay, so let's um, save and we're just going to exit out. We're going to start chapter four of part three on Friday because tomorrow will be my day off and Thursday will be Ghost of Tsushima. Icky Island. And boy, is it icky. Boy, is it icky. With those darn Mongols there. Icky Island. All right, so I'm going to head out and try to try to turn in early tonight. And go find my switch, I guess that set up get this ready to go for when we're ready to do it 
but thank you guys this has been fun i feel like we're really going to be getting a lot of those big story beats um there's still some side stuff that we might want to do but i think for the most part we're going to be doing main story from here on out oh my gosh stinky pete that's a name i haven't seen in a long time pete how's it going yeah and we got some good nannies today which was really nice so many to think that getting like four nannies feels like like a lot <laughs> Remember in Yakuza 0 where we get like 20 in one stream or something? But yeah, again, we'll be back to Yakuza 4 this Friday. Starting at 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. So we're going to get right into chapter 4 of, uh, you know, Tani... What's his name? <laughs> of this guy, Mas Masayoshi. And, um, yeah, that bubble economy. And Thursday, Ghost of Tsushima, the DLC. We just barely got started with that last time, so we're going to get into that, and it's going to be fun. And I thank you guys so much for being here, Pete. I hope everything's been going awesome for you. It's really good to see you. Unfortunately, I have to run, but I'll see you guys on Thursday. I hope you guys have a good day tomorrow. Stay out of trouble. And we'll be seeing you. Thank you again. And uh, that's Bunny out. Bye, guys. Take care. Oh, yeah, Pete. I do have a Discord. Let's see. There it is. Thank you, guys. Yep. Anybody who hasn't joined the Discord yet, there it is. Anybody who hasn't followed my YouTube yet, there it is. You can find any uh, gameplay that you miss on stream. You can find it on the YouTube. All my old playthroughs and stuff. At least as far back as like March or April of last year. So yeah, have a good night, guys. Okay, now I'm leaving for real. Bye.